you should probably use Go for your next project. And here's why. Now, I'm talking here as a business owner for business owners. I'm also a developer myself and we use Go for a lot of things in our small team, but um, I don't like programming in Go. It's really boring, it's really annoying. I'm, I'm always like, I want to do more than what it's capable of. But there's a really good reason, or actually there's three good reasons why you want to maybe think about making your next project in Go. And yeah, let's get through it. The first thing is just a disclaimer. If you're just doing something like off the shelf, like you're using WordPress and just like getting a lot of uh, things out and running with that, or you have like a Django setup and it just keeps running and it's pretty fast, you should probably not change it. But if you're gonna make something more complicated that requires something extra, try to check out Go. Even if you're not a big team, it's a really good choice. And if you're a bigger team, it's even better choice. Now, here's the three reasons why you want to choose Go for your ne next project. Number one is the foundation of Go. Go is extremely simple, and this gives a lot of properties that are really good for business owners. One, it's easy to get people onboarded to a project because there's no crazy logic. We have a lot of projects in Python or Node where things get really out of hand and it takes a long time to get people onboarded. And adjacent to that, is that when you need to replace some people, it's really easy to replace people. And if you have a business that's been running for a few years, you know that sometimes like life just happens and you have to find a new developer or they are just leaving your company and you need to find someone else that can take over. And this is where Go really shines. It's very easy to get a new developer on and scale up the development or like replace someone. It also gives you long-term safety because it's so simple that it just keeps running. Like what worked in the previous version of Go usually works. When you upgrade Node, it usually doesn't work. When you upgrade Python, it usually works, but sometimes there's a lot of caveats and you don't really see them before you're running it in production. Go doesn't have any of that. If it worked five years ago, it runs now. It's really, really robust and safe. Number two is scaling. 90% of websites will run on a small little server if they're made in Go. And the reason why is, is Go is fast enough and you 90% of websites don't get a lot of traffic. So if you're like 90% of uh, website creators, you will probably end up in this bucket. And that means that you can basically just have one server running everything. And a lot of things that we have just our one server just keeps running and it's so easy to run. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to spend a lot of money on DevOps and it just keeps running cheap, simple, fast, no weird logic or like crazy things you have to set up. And yeah, it just works. It just keeps working. Number three, talent. Getting Golang talent is very easy, but not for the reasons you think maybe, because there's not that many Go developers out there, but you, give, you find a good developer in a modern programming language and you give them Go and boom, in a few weeks, they will be productive Go developers. In a few months, they will be really good Go developers. Go is so simple, it's easy to get people on board. And it really matters a lot if you can say, hey, um, we don't really care about what skills at all you have, as long as you have some kind of web development. We just want to make sure you fit the culture. And that means you have a lot more pool of people you can you can draw from because if you have a wordpress developer that's really good at what he's doing if you have a java developer or a c sharp or python or node it doesn't matter you can get them on board in a few uh, in a week maybe even in a day and in a few weeks they will be good go developers so this means that you have a whole lot of possibilities to find the people that you want to find instead of having to search. For example, let's say you're using Django uh, in Python. You have to find a Django developer, not a Python developer, but a Django developer. It's very niche. It's a big niche, but it's still a niche. Like you can't find a Python developer. You can't find a Node.js developer because then you have to spend six months training them. It's just not uh, worth it. So this really makes the world a lot more open and just finding people that are good, logical uh, people. And you can also get students as well. So it's very, very cost efficient and it's very, very easy to find people that just matches your culture. Now, tell me, what are the favorite reasons you're using Go? 
and comment that below. And you know, I, I, I always have to say this here because this is what this is what we do on uh, YouTube. Uh, please hit the subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.